time series theory. Then we'll focus extensively on hands-on analysis using Python. More specifically, the first sections will be devoted to time series notation, assumptions, and data exploration. We'll see how to load and plot our data with likes of the QQ plot, the ACF, the PACF, and seasonal decomposition graphs. We'll also learn what the Dickey Fuller test is and why we rely on it when examining time series data. Then we'll proceed with a very important yet often neglected topic data pre processing. Time series data extensively relies on timestamps. That's why we must know the different tools and techniques to ensure the actual order of data points. Sometimes some of the data will be missing. That's why we'll also see how to deal with missing values to ensure that our models behave correctly. Once we've covered the basics, we'll go deeper. Bit by bit, we will start unfolding the more complicated topics in time series analysis. We'll explore white noise, random walks, stationarity, and autocorrelation. A good understanding of these will be instrumental later on. Okay, this will wrap up the first major part of the course. Throughout the rest, we'll exclusively focus on modeling. In fact, there are many different models that are employed in time series. We'll explore a good part of them, essentially preparing you for almost any situation. First, we'll see the simplest models employed in sequential data analysis, autoregressions. These will allow us to predict movements based on correlations. We'll then go through moving averages in order to account for unexpected shocks in our data. You'll quickly realize that autoregressions and moving averages are not enough for most problems. That's why we'll combine them to reach the autoregressive moving average model known as ARMA. Then we'll deal with stationarity issues by introducing the autoregressive integrated moving average model or ARIMA. And we'll finish off with the most complicated of this family, ARIMAX. I know I'm throwing a lot of terms around, but they will all be clear by the end of the course, I promise. We'll devote dozens of lectures and exercises to each of the models, solidifying your knowledge up to a point where you'll feel like a time series expert. All right, but that's not all. No time series analysis course is truly complete unless we explore volatility. And the best way to do that is through the autoregressive conditional heteroscedasticity model known as the ARCH and its generalization, GARCH. This will prepare you for a whole other job description, that of a quantitative analyst or a risk management analyst. Sounds great, doesn't it? This is going to be an incredible adventure.